Hey guys, if you saw my last video, you know I had an extraction fan fail in my mushroom fruiting room. I've actually got a new one now. Um, so in this video, I'll quickly take you through what I got, why I chose it, the difference between that and the old fan that um, that failed on me, and I'll install it and I'll quickly show you it um, um, after it's been installed and connected to my CO2 controller. So here's a new fan I got on the right to, um, to replace the fan I had on the left which is broken. Um, you'll notice first thing that it's a lot bigger and I'll take you through that reason in a minute but um, I'll just I'll just say something about this fan I got here it's a really high flow fan but it's not actually capable of putting a lot of pressure behind its flow so as soon as it comes up to anything like a, a panel filter or a one-way valve they actually they actually decrease in their efficiency substantially now the reason this fan's so big is because it can handle a lot of back pressure and so it actually maintains its efficiency when better when pushing air through things like a panel filter or a, a valve let's say a one-way valve I actually originally had one of these you saw in my last video which was originally pushing the air through my HEPA filter and it worked pretty well um, I'll take you through the three reasons I bought this one as I've just said is because it can handle um, it can handle pressure a lot better because it's, it's pushing it through a one-way valve two is it's plastic now plastic is going to resist because it's pumping out air out of a out of a a, a a high humid room. The plastic won't make the air condense onto it as much as metal. If it was metal, metal always sits a bit colder, and so that humidity will find it easier to condense on the metal, and it will just become a lot wetter. Um, and the third reason is because its electronics are situated here on the outside of the fan. Um, my last fan, this one here, at the electronics, let's get that into focus, are literally sitting right in the middle of where all the air pushes through that fan. And so they were just subject to a lot of water. So electronics on the outside, um, that should be a huge decrease in risk of water ingressing in and shorting that fan out. But I'll get this hooked up now and we'll show you it running. With growing mushrooms it's never one problem, it's always two. I um, hooked my new extractor fan up um, only to find out that my relay has also blown. <laughs> I am not happy about this. Anyway, so I've got the new fan in. Um, it is working well with the excuse of the relay. Um, how this relay normally works is that, is that my CO2 transmitter right here sends a signal to my process controller, which then flicks the relay on, which in turn turns this uh, extractor fan on. So um, without that piece of the puzzle, the process controller can't turn this on, off and on. Um, so I'm doing it manually at the moment, which means I have to come out here to four to five times a day and just um, plug it in at the wall for sort of four or five minutes at a time. It's 150 mil, so it's slotted straight in where my, my other one came out. It's got its electronics mounted on the outside, which I'm happy about, so it gets them out of that flow of humid air. Um, and it is plastic, so it should stop a bit of uh, moisture condensating on the inside. So um, just a few more days so I'll get my new relay and um, everything should be um, up and running perfectly. I've also got my Patreon set up now, so go check that out and remember to hit that subscribe button.